Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In last video, we have created add user review and rating on product. You can see here, uh, write review link. If I click on this link, it's opening a page uh, from where you can set the rating and uh, also add your review. Okay. So let's add here the rating and review. So I'm just going to select here uh, three star and uh, review. So I'm just going to write here good product. All right. And if I click on submit, you can see here the message your review has been added successfully. All right. Now let's see how can we show uh, this review and rating on product details page. Okay. So first of all, go to the det uh, product details page. So go to the shop link and uh, uh, from here just click on any product. So I'm just going to click on this product. And you can see here this is the product details page and uh, here it's showing the product rating and number of reviews. Okay. Which is uh, which are dummy. Okay. Uh, which are statics and uh, if I scroll the page you can see here the reviews tab and uh, here it's showing the all reviews of this product which are also uh, static okay so now uh, let's uh, make uh, dynamic these things okay this is star a star rating and uh, also showing here the number of reviews and also display here the all reviews of this product okay and also remove this form all right so for doing this switch to the project and uh, uh, first of all uh, let's open the order item model so just go inside the app directory then models and from here just open order item dot php file okay this model and inside this just uh, let's create one more function here public function and function name uh, let's say function name is review and uh, inside this function simply return here dollar this arrow has one and add here the model review colon colon class and also add here the column name order underscore item underscore id all right now save this now go to the review model so just open this one review.php and inside this let's create here a function public function and function name order item and inside this simply return here dollar this arrow belongs to Order item model column column class. All right. Uh, this is the product model, and uh, you can see here this is the order model. Okay. All right. Uh, now go to the details component view file. So for that just go inside the resources directory then views live wire and uh, from here just open details task component dot blade dot php file this one. All right. Now inside this file you can see here this is it's showing the product rating here. Okay. This is the first star second third fourth and fifth. And you can see here this it's showing the number of reviews. All right. Okay. Now let's uh, make thing dynamic. So before this, uh, before uh, this, just add here PHP directive. And inside this, let's create one variable which is AVZ average rating. Okay. And set here the default value zero. Now after this, let's add here the forest directive. So for each, and inside this, simply write here dollar product arrow 
order item where r status r status is equal to 1 as dollar order item uh, product order items all right and uh, we need only this one and, and after this just close here the uh, for each directive so right here in for each no need here so just cut this and paste after this and inside this for each simply write here dollar avz rating is equal to this variable all right is equal to dollar avz rating plus dollar order item this one and uh, call here the review function review and also call here the rating okay and before adding this just add here the php directive and inside this just paste here all right and after this for each uh, let's add here the for for directive for and dollar uh, i is equal to 1 dollar i is less than 5 okay then dollar i plus plus and after this just close here the four uh, for directive in four and now just remove this remaining like uh, fs star okay this one this one and now save this uh, before displaying this let's add here the if directive at the rate if and check here if dollar i is less than and equal to this one okay if it is true then display this star otherwise just add here else part and now let's copy this and paste here inside the else part and after this just close here the if directive in here and uh, inside the else part let's add here one more class uh, color dash gray okay now let's copy this class name and uh, before this let's add here the style tag and close here the style tag and now dot color dash gray and set here the color as e6 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 okay this color and also add here the important important all right now so here the number of reviews so for that just select this and add her double curly bracket and now just write here dollar product arrow order item items okay arrow add here the condition where if where uh, r status is equal to 1 then just call here the count method all right okay now save this now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now you can see here the rating 4 and number of review which is 1 okay 
now it's dynamic if i change the rating uh, so let's change the rating so just go to the uh, local host php my admin and just open the database laravel 8 e-commerce db and from here just browse the reviews table and if i change the uh, rating here of this product uh, this time i'm just going to add here 2 and if i refresh the page you can see here the rating 2 all right okay now inside the reviews tab uh, let's display here uh, the review okay all review of this product and also remove this form okay so switch to the project and let's scroll the page and let's find the reviews tab and you can see here this is the reviews tab the reviews uh, description tab and you can see here the review tab okay and from here first of all just remove this form so collapse this div and let's select this and remove this all right and now for showing the review uh, after this let's add here the forest directive for h dollar product arrow uh, product arrow order items this one arrow uh, add here the condition where r the status is equal to one then edge dollar order item all right and after uh, this closing a line just close here for each directive so right here in for each all right and now for displaying the uh, first of all let's display here the number of reviews and uh, here display the product name okay so just select this and add here double curly bracket dollar product arrow uh, order items so I'm just going to copy this same line all right and also call here the call function and now for displaying the product team just select this add a double curly bracket dollar product arrow name product arrow name okay now uh, let's display here the rating so for that uh, inside this width percentage uh, just select this one 80 and add a double curly bracket now uh, inside this curly bracket just write here dollar order item order item this one okay arrow the review arrow rating okay and now uh, let's multiply with 20 with this rating okay and uh, now just copy this rating and here inside the double curly bracket just paste here order item review arrow rating all right and now for this let's add here some css so after this just add here the style tag and inside this style tag uh, width dash add here the class name width dash uh, if 0% so right here 0% percent, um, this one percent 
then set here the width 0% ok now let's copy this and paste 5 times Alright, now change here the percentage if 20, then set here the width 20%. If width 40, then set here the width 40%. And if width is 60, then set here the width 60. If 80, set here the width 80. And in last, if 100%. Then set here the width 100%. Okay. Alright. Now writing done. Now uh, let's display here the username. So for displaying the username, just write here order item arrow order order arrow user arrow name. Alright, order item, order user name. And now for displaying the review date and time, uh, just add a double curly bracket, then order item arrow review arrow. Uh, let's, let's access here the column created at created underscore at all right and before accessing this just add here carbon for displaying the formatted date okay so add here the carbon carbon colon colon parse and inside this just paste here okay order item arrow review arrow created at and now just call here the format format function and inside this let's pass here the format d small d space capital f space capital y small g colon i space capital a all right okay and now for showing here the review now let's select this text and add your double curly bracket and now just write here order item arrow the review okay and let's page here the comment column comment all right and uh, now it's done so save this and now let's check this okay so switch to the browser and now just refresh the page Alright, you can see here the rating number of reviews and uh, if I click on reviews tab you can see here the one review for this product and you can see here the rating and username user okay and this is the review date and this is the review okay all right now let's check the another product so I'm just going to click on soft page and uh, if I click on this product, you can see here uh, for this product, there is no any rating available and uh, no review, okay, zero review. And inside the reviews, you can see here the nothing, okay, zero review for this product. Alright, so in this way, you can show review and rating on product details page. So that's all about so review and rating on product details page. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.